Yo, 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 it is your boy Nice. First of all, thanks for tuning in. We've got Mr. Joshua Singh here. This man needs no introduction because this <laughs> is his show. I'm just hijacking it. All right, you know, Josh, with, I, to be honest, I've been wanting to do this chat yeah, with for, you. For a long time. For a long time. Yeah. You know, like the last time we spoke was like a year and a half ago. Yeah. And uh, something you, happened. Eh? Something happened, bro. You sparked the light. And now you're, you're interviewing me. No, I'm interviewing you. Like, who would have thought? You know? Oh, um, you know, man. the key difference between me and Josh is uh, he's got hair and I don't. Yeah. You know, so. It's uh, a fundamental difference. It's a fundamental difference. <laughs> I, you're married? Yeah. I'm not married. So, you know. Single? Single. Ready to mingle? I'm ready to mingle. Slide the dating app you like, bro. Oh, <laughs> yeah. This, you got that idea, right? You're going to yeah, go with it? <laughs> All right, man. All right, now we'll, let's get into it. I know we've got, what, eight minutes left? Yeah. All right, Josh, we're going to get into some real questions all right you ready for this let's talk about it all right you talk a lot about finding your why yeah. finding your purpose you know yeah. i've seen the seen all your content yeah. that you po post online and yeah. you know you, you've got a big big effort about people finding their purpose yeah can you please for the audience tell us your purpose your why please i think it's very broad but in summary if i was to say it it's helping people find their why um, in a nutshell, and really I like igniting f fire within, um, and I do that through conversation, through content, I do that through um, just being consistent every single day, showing up, right? Yeah. Um, and I think my hope, my hope, deep desire is to wake people up to purpose. Yeah, that's good, that's yeah. smart. You know, when you say wake people up to their purpose, yeah. you know, like, how, if we had to flip that around, how do you, because the... I feel like the most deep question that comes to people's mind is how do you stay accountable? You yeah. know? And I, I know you flipped this around on me about a year and a half ago. How do you keep yourself accountable? Because it's such a broad why at the I, same I time. Think, I, think, I think keeping yourself accountable is the key to growth and success. Yeah. Um, also having goals. I think um, what people don't know is I have good people around me that keep me accountable, that you know, keep inspiring me. Because there's moments when you feel down, there's moments where you feel like you don't want to get up and do what you're called to do. Yeah. And these people are reminders for me to keep going. You know? mm. And also I think the next 10 years down the line, um, only I can do what I can do. Only you can do what you can do, right? So I gotta do it every day and do it better each day and add value to the world because the more I do that, the more the, the greater the leg legacy. Does that make does that make yeah, sense? That makes so sense. I think um, there's no mechanism for accountability, but mm. I think relationships is the key thing here. If you don't have strong relationships, if you don't have people that you can trust around you that can speak into your life for for what it is, yeah. not just for who you are, yeah. but for you know say the truth as it is. Yeah. Um, I think I think it's very very critical. Nice man, that's good. You know, I to be honest, every time I listen to you, yeah. I believe that you're a really really good storyteller. You know, really and i think you know the way you express your words yeah it really comes and hits people in the yeah. heart yeah you know and i think that's that's a like it's a genuine gift yeah. you know and is that is that a skill that people can develop like it is a skill that um can be developed but i think your purpose is natural to you unique to you and the gifts that god gives an individual contributes to making that purpose come alive right so for me my gift is talking to mass crowds, um, you know, preaching or, you know, inspiring people to worship or, you know, facilitating an experience with God. For, for me, those things are very natural. Like I, I could do that without just waking up without yeah, any effort. Day. So this is what, I, what I'm saying. Like whatever you can do without an effort or without having to try hard mm -hmm. is, is a indicator or ingredient to your purpose. And so wow. you've got to find that gifting within. And it's wow. only through um, discovery questions through seasons of, you know, lives and pain and all that kind of stuff, man. Wow, man that's, that's like you're very gifted in photos, yeah. in, in cr being creative, in, in, in inspiring, you're entrepreneurial. People don't know that. If you don't know that, you are. Yeah, the show's actually about him. Yeah. We're going back to him. <laughs> all right, sweet. So well, we're, go we're going to go into some real tough questions. Right? Yeah. I want to talk to you about, you know, you talked a lot about, you know, the power of relationships yep. and things like that, you know. Personally, in my world, I, be do you, I believe that every, you meet everybody for a reason, yep. you know, and the strengths and the connections you build with them yep. is, is all for a reason, yep. you know. You know, especially people like, you know, you talk a lot about relationships and things like that. Yep. How, how, what would you say, you know, like the art of letting go when people struggle is, is something that is like very, very difficult to get over, especially if you love somebody. Yeah, you know? letting, letting go yeah. is possibly the most difficult thing yeah. a human can experience because when you let go, you're letting go of an expectation. You're letting go of 
um, a certain idea. You're letting go of something you've developed over years, you know. Yeah. Um, and I think people, when they don't let go, become toxic, become bitter. And so letting go is actually a way to find freedom and to experience true life. Like if you don't let go, yeah. um, God can't replace mm. um, what that, play, that person or that thing is taking with yeah. something new. In fact, I believe that God sees your future as it is mm. and he allows people and things to be arranged so that your future isn't destructive, you know what I mean? Like, wow. So he knows who's good for you, who's not good for you. So for me, yeah. the more I grow older yeah. and I realize, listen, You'll never figure out life, yeah. but you can trust God yeah. and you can trust the process and you can trust that he's going to work it all out for the better. Quick question. Yeah. Right? You've got a lot of young listeners yeah. right? and that are like in that phase of like, you know, starting a relationship yeah. or trying to get out of a relationship. Yeah. How do you help? What, any advice for people that are stuck in that vicious cycle? Because you mean relationship after relationship? No, nah, what I mean is they, they're trying, they're, they're finding it really hard to let somebody go and they keep going back to that toxic trait. You know? Yeah. Is there, is there anything that you can think of or anything like that that can help people grow? Because I feel like this question comes in a, a lot of the times where people ask about. What are you really trying to ask me, man? I'm trying to ask you how do you break a vicious cycle? That's a very powerful question. Yeah. I think you've got to uh, identify that the cycles are actually in your mind, yeah. right? Yeah. And when you don't confront what's in your mind, it will take control of your life. So mm -hmm. a lot of people think that they need that one certain person to survive, to thrive. Yeah. In fact, you don't need, you, you need literally just God to, 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 to make things happen. You need good people around you. But yeah. I think if you don't let toxicity out of your life, yeah. You won't, you won't smell fresh. You won't be fresh. You, 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 won't, you, you, know, you know when you come yeah. into a room yeah. and you, you actually, a f you're a fresh, you're a fresh breath of air, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like yeah, I you, what you, you make an impact in the environment. Yeah, yeah. You, you can actually literally tell yeah. who's had a bad day, who's had a good day yeah. based on what they're carrying in their heart. I agree with you. I agree and with so you. I think when you start, when you get into a relationship, you've got to assess the impact of what you want that relationship to look like. No, I get, that, that makes a lot of sense. Also, one more thing yep. on that. Do you believe that, you know, you know, when it's like when you get into relationships or when you're trying to get out of a relationship, yep. do you reckon the vicious cycle has a lot to do with your, uh, uh, ref, you're always uh, trying to chase yourself? Like n the idea of n you, no one's ever going to be able to love you like you? Yeah, so yeah. if you try to find acceptance yeah. of yourself through someone else's eyes, yeah. You're never going to be satisfied. You're never going to be accepted. I think the key thing is to accept yourself for who you are. Yeah. To love yourself. Yeah. If you have insecurity as a foundation to um, your start of a relationship, you're not going to succeed. Yeah. Because foundations in life are everything. Yeah. You build a business on a bad foundation, it's going to die. Yeah. You build a relationship on a bad foundation, yeah. on just sex, on just money, on just what can I get out of you, yeah. it's not going to last. Trust me, bro. It's yeah. not going to last. You've got to have healthy foundations. Wow. That's good, man. That's good. Thanks. Everybody that. knows yeah. what's wrong with them. Yeah, it's good. I don't need to tell you what's wrong with you. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. That but what so I do need to help you with is yeah. how do I get you out? Mm. Let's talk about it. And yeah. we can't talk about things yeah. that you may be facing with if you're not willing to admit what's wrong. That's good. You see what I'm That's saying? a good advice, good advice, good advice all around. <laughs> I love it. Now, I, I just wanted to talk about that because yeah. I know you've got so many um, like people that listen to relationship advice yeah. and, on your page. And you yeah. know, it's all about building strong relationships and finding purpose and why through that. So I thought it was really important, especially with that type of topic, which yeah. I know people are always concerned about. The other thing I want to sort of go back is diving into you uh, like in your younger self. Yeah. You know? How did you find yourself? Do you think you found found yourself? Do you think you found, like, yeah, I'm just saying I know what I want. Do you think you do you think you've got that it's, in the back? It's a very, very interesting question, and the way you put it, and the way you phrase it, I, I don't know if I can say I have myself because. I don't know what my future self looks like. Do you know? What, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like even when I was in my, um, younger days, I was thinking, man, I made a lot of stupid decisions. I probably learned more in life, but. Uh, one thing I wish I had yeah. was people or coaches or mentors 
that had different viewpoints that I could assess. You know what I mean? I think it's very healthy to have people around you that are different, yeah. but are for you. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's good. Um, but I think I'm continuing to find myself. And I don't want to say I've reached a point because when you say you've reached a point, that's it. Okay, drop the beat. Yeah. Okay, if you had to go back 10 years and give your 15-year-old any advice, what would it be? Um, wow, that's a very, very good thing. Um, I wish I could have found my gift earlier and just focused on that. My biggest, and I'll be vulnerable, my biggest pain point in life has been where to focus because mm. there's so many things I want to focus on or yeah. so many things that I want to do and my dad keeps saying this to me focus on one particular thing even some of my mentors right now say yeah. focus on one thing I find it so difficult within myself yeah. to settle down maybe that's because I want to be successful in everything you know what I mean but you can't be successful in everything without being successful in one thing yeah that makes sense that does make sense first if that makes sense that makes sense all right that's good good to know now you know Everyone's been going through some hard times, yeah. you know, COVID-19, all of last year, yeah. you know, and it's, it's, it still feels like it's, it's like an ever-ending cycle. Yeah. So if they, what, what's your plan? What's your game plan for 2021? Yep. What does Joshua Singh have on the pipeline yep. that's coming? And huh. that's what I want to know. <laughs> First COVID, I must say, I didn't deal with it very well because I think being so outgoing and, you know, being connected and then now being locked to in, in, in your in your room or in your house is a very hard mm. concept, yeah, particularly for someone that has a plan or is quite a driver, so I'm quite a driver. This year, I think I'm going to use my time and I'm anticipating if there are going to be future lockdowns, that I'm gonna be very productive and I'm gonna keep myself accountable. So I have calendars in place, I have tasks, I have to, I keep looking at my reminders, what are the things to do? Yeah. I have certain, see the thing, uh, uh, when you're young, you look at the little ticket items, yeah. right? Yeah. So I was just dealing with little problems and yeah. you know, getting them out of the way. Now I get, that I get older and I realize, man, flip, we have to start solving bigger problems that contribute and have wider flow and effects in mm. the community. Wow. I'm not looking at just regions. I'm looking at, okay, how do I impact New Zealand? How do I impact the world, you know? Yeah. So it's more so before you impact these places, you have to be ready within. You got to do the. Revolution. You got to do the due diligence inside. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. I get it. So if we dive in, uh, like, try get you a little bit more open. Yeah. Right? I, I want to ask you this question. A lot of the times, people ask, you know, what makes you successful? Yeah. You know, what do you think makes you unsuccessful? What makes me unsuccessful? You put me on the spot on that. That's a good question. <laughs> I don't know. Many people ever ask this question, so. I know it's a tough one. That's a very good question. What yeah. makes because because the, the what I'm trying to get to is your audience, you know, wants to see what you can always improve on. Yeah. And you're always talking about you know the progress, the progress, you yeah. know, and how to be better. And if you if you if you think about this question in a broader sense, yeah. what what could you do better in 2021? Yeah. That that you think can be more successful recruit recruit yeah like you I, know, for me yeah. it would be recruiting people yeah like recruiting sense. people to a mission purpose and sense of belonging yeah giving people a a a, a platform essentially yeah that um makes sense. and then getting them to realize that they have what it takes like at the end of the day uh the way i see myself and i'm a big believer in platforms yeah. not on a um, public scale but i'm talking about platform sense where you give them the tools and you empower them and you give them the resource they need to do what they're called to do, right? Yeah. That's what I want to do. So you do that through relationships. So, but recruiting, I'm always on the lookout for young leaders, for young people that want to make a difference with their life. Like you, big, yeah. b you're, you're a big impact because I know you're a driver, you're entrepreneurial. You, I know that you have what it takes. All I've got to do is keep asking you the questions. Yeah. What do you need? Yeah, you keep me accountable. He does keep me accountable. Yeah, you know what I mean? He does keep me accountable. Yeah, right. you're, you're, you're a big time, bro. Now, what I, what I wanted to, you know, I'm super passionate about this, yeah. right? I'm super passionate about kids. Yeah. You know, I'm super passionate about South Auckland, yeah. you know, breaking negative stereotypes, yeah. things like that, you know. And I know how big you are with community. Yeah. You know, is there any insights, you know, like that you can pass on, like, you know, like what does community mean to you? Like yeah. why 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 what's your purpose behind community? Yeah, so it's a great question. Um ICLC has always been home for, for me. So the, really, ICLC exists to help people know God, find freedom, discover purpose, and make a difference, right? 
and these are the four steps and we have different um, programs to help people you know experience that but out of all of that comes a community and community to me in an essence is a family where you can come home so a lot of people that come to ICLC they find that this is a home away from home so nurturing that protecting that atmosphere um, um, making sure that we are keeping it as it is a family environment is very important wow. but you, you you need family because they are like your foundation and they they will keep you grounded no, that's good. Do you know what I mean? That makes sense. That makes sense. Now, Josh, uh, this is your show. Um, yeah. How are we doing on time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how are we doing on time? We're gonna finish up now. Okay, right? so we got, think, no, we're gonna we're gonna I hit some five questions. I reckon five fast questions. Okay. Good. All right. Tell the audience what they don't know about you. Something. Um, one I'm thing. I'm a drummer. He's I, a drummer. I play the drums. You didn't. You know that. I do yeah, know that. I'm, I'm actually a drummer. Play okay. Uh, what's your favorite ice cream? Um, cookies and cream. Oh, cookies and cream. I right. like that. That's right. my favorite. Uh, what's your favorite place in New Zealand to visit? I would go to Queenstown any day. Any day? Yeah, okay. I fly down. Uh, what favorite person to spend time with besides your wife? Wow, that is a <laughs> question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know who I'd spend time with. Um, holy moly. Yourself! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I, I, don't, I really don't know who I'd spend, want to spend time with. I mean, yeah. I'd love to meet... Um, um, like uh, uh, a, a political leader one day. Nice, that's good. Yeah, that's good. I'm that's yet to meet Jacinda Ardern. Oh, yeah, that'll be fun. <laughs> um, okay, last one. Money, have all the money in the world. Yeah. Keep your family forever, or uh, take your dog for a walk. Wow, <laughs> you had to go that low. <laughs> but you can't do all three. Uh, you could do it. Yeah, three. I do. <laughs> you could do it three. See, that's yeah. exactly the answer I was looking yeah, for. Yeah, I do all three, bro. Right, I'll bro. do all three. Sweet, man. Thanks for your time, bro. Yeah, appreciate appreciate it. it. Thank you. you know, Thank this you. This was the takeover, but yeah, yeah honestly. I appreciate it, man.